Just point forward, everything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Yes. Yeah! You, ha you have the right to, a law to an attorney. <sighs> okay, so... Hi, everybody! If you, ca if you can't afford one, one will, will be provided Matthew, for Itch.io, you. that's all I'm gonna say. Matthew, come on! I don't like Itch.io. I know you don't like Itch.io, but... Okay, can I just say, mm -hmm. um, I love... This I love this creator's mm -hmm. character designs and things like that. Right. I love their color choices. Okay. I, I, it's beautiful. I absolutely love it. Hang on, I, hang on, I love hang making on. characters I'm, I'm myself. Gonna to, it's, uh -huh. I'm gonna have to take an insulin shot. <laughs> what? Oh, what? Don't worry, don't worry, McNobbits, uh, because oh my. because uh, as the as the page for it says, it's yet another cute pink game that turns into a horror game. Uh, because, no, no. you know, that's a genre now, which just sickens to me my core, but... That is I mean, awful. I mean, it's not a bad genre, if it's, you know how to do it right. It's a, it is not a genre, and then it is a genre It's an overplayed awful. trope, is what it is. You know, you guys yeah. are Well, it, it's true, it's an overplayed trope. Okay, it's so like hang the whole on. thing so of, oh, there's a children's toy that turns evil? What a twist! I'm never gonna be friends with Arcade Kitten. No, probably not. Not when you're married to me. Okay. Wait, with a paid kitten? The That's creator. the creator of this game. Uh, oh, Arcade Kitten. I, yeah. I yeah. Kitten. All right, so let's get this started here. Okay. Oh no. Warning: This game contains themes and depictions of the following: strong language, death, blood, gore, forced cannibalism. Description is advised. Okay, so, I hate to be oh. the party. I hate to be the literal party pooper, mm -hmm. but I will have to use the bathroom beforehand. All right, go for it. Party pooping. <coughs> party pooping. Pooping at the party. Party pooping. Party pooping. Uh. Thanks, honey. Oh, here we go. You're welcome. Can we carry on? Well, not, but God was just to poop. Oh. We're waiting for him to poop. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, he said he would be a literal party pooper because he has to go poop. Freaking... Really? Yes. That's the commission Why there. didn't he do this before oh, I, I we realized started the recording? Should have Maybe he didn't realize he had to go until now. Oh my whatever. gosh! It's... Novitz, you dumb sheep! Well, I'm thinking about redoing that, though. He's a uh... sheep. He can't, he can't control it, you know? Well, I mean, I guess I can't blame him for that. <laughs> Careful, Icarus. So you find out the truth, he just uses an excuse because he didn't want to play, <laughs> play the game. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he was like, oh crap, another cute game with death, blood, and gore. I'm out of here. I, you know, I gotta poop. That's uh, that. What, what do you think he's thinking about I'm gonna right now? laugh my butt off if by the end of this, you actually have a good time. I, I have had a good time playing these with the group as we all riff on it, but... <sighs> There, there are very, very few Itchio games that I have had fun with. Uh, Jazz loves them, but I, I just, I can't stand them. I just don't like them. I just, I can understand. They're not my thing. I, I can understand. To me, they are sadness porn. The video game, like that's all they are to me. For more often than not, I just, they don't appeal to me. No, I get that yeah. too. It's okay. I'm not, I'm not sure what this one would. Qualify as, or if it would even have a qualification. It's edge. It's edginess. It's it's pr from what I've heard. I can, I'm only going on what I've been told so far. Uh, uh, okay. But from what I've heard, it's it's the has been hotel hell of a boss kind of thing where it's like the it's cool that it's shocking kind of thing or it's sexy that it's shocking kind of thing because that's like a big appeal for both of those things it's a weird fetishization i don't know if that's the right word fetishizing of violent tendencies mm. it's it's a fetish game it's a it's a strange kind of romanticizing Mental illness, romanticizing violence, romanticizing unhealthy relationships, romanticizing angst. Again, it's the typical sort of thing that's very popular on Itch.io, is people who are in an emotionally unstable stage in their life, 
just sort of vomiting their emotional instability onto a video game. I know that if Arcade Kitten were to ever see um, our our Let's Play of this and mm-hmm. stuff like that, um, I would be heartbroken in knowing that she would probably not like us. Well, I mean, and here's, I mean, again, I guess it's because of just, like how I've talked to McNobbits, I've met a lot of my heroes and people I looked up to and mm-hmm. have kind of learned more often than not, I wouldn't get along with them anyway. Like To me, it's that whole thing, like, you know, I'll put something out and someone goes, Matt, did... You know, I mean, this, this has happened already, but like, Steve Purcell is really offended by what you said. Okay, too bad for him then. Like, I, I don't live to please him. I, I have a separate life. I love his work, but that doesn't mean I have to like him as a person. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I mean, heck, we talked about like whether or not, you know, would it be fun if we ever did a crossover with some of the other Let's Players if we ever met them? And I've been like, of all of them, I think it would be fun if we ever had a chance to do a crossover with Oni Plays because their sense of humor tends to match ours. But I would be, I wouldn't be surprised. It would would be shocking if we ever. Yeah, but I I also wouldn't be surprised if we met them and afterwards like, oh my God, I hate those guys. They're so obnoxious and rude. Or if they thought that about us. Like I just, I again, it's like just because Mm -hmm. we have similar sense of humor or entertainment choices doesn't Mm -hmm. mean we're going to have matching personalities, Mm -hmm. you know, so. I've I've felt that way um, about, uh, about Game Grumps before. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, I know I wouldn't be able to stand being around them. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of things that they say that I'm like, mm, I would not be like being around you kind of mm-hmm. thing. <laughs> just because I, just, I just pick up bits of their, you know, some of the things you say kind of are, some stuff is like, okay, that's obviously sarcastic. There's mm-hmm. like, okay, he's being genuine as he talks about this. And mm-hmm. it's stuff that makes me go, yeah, you come across the type of person I wouldn't like. You you seem like it just mm, I, I disagree with you on this. You know, like, mm. but, you know. <clears throat> but again, that's fine. I mean, there's a play. Anyway, we're gonna have a fun time <laughs> all over this masterpiece. Yeah. It, but, uh, but, 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 no. That's okay. But you know, I mean, again, there's there are many many people who I admire artistically. Mm-hmm. That doesn't mean that doesn't mean I have to admire them as a person. Nor does it mean I have to like everything they do. I mean. Mm-hmm. Myself, okay, as, I mean, again, I grew up pretty much idolizing Jim Henson. Like, I, he's the whole reason I wanted to be an entertainer and, mm-hmm. and felt like there's more to comedy than people think. You can use it to share a lot of positive things and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but at the same time, he has a lot of projects he did. They're like, wow, this is garbage. Like, I would just straight up say, this is terrible. I don't like this. Mm-hmm. You're like, but it's but it's Jim Henson. I don't care that... Th- just because I like his stuff doesn't mean I have to have a brand loyalty where I like everything Yeah, it is true. You're you not know? obligated to like everything um, one specific person does. Right. To me, I would much, again, even if I had, like, the most devoted fan, like, it would upset me. I, I would I would be creeped out if they just loved everything I did without any complaints ever. Because at some point, I mean, again, I'd be like, there's got to be some point in essentially roughly 20 years worth of my putting my stuff on the internet because i've been mm-hmm. pretty much doing this since in my late teens early 20s somewhere around mm-hmm. there so in the 20 year career i have had as an as a cartoonist online even my most loyal fans have got to have a point where they went yeah that one thing you did sorry matt i gotta tell you that was awful like mm-hmm. i just didn't that one wasn't funny, or that's a bad character. Mm-hmm. I've had plenty of fans who've done it, but if I ever had someone who just loves ev- I, everything, I'd be like, dude, get a backbone. Like, be yourself. I, I, this, I'm not impressed by you. This is just sad. You don't have a personality of your own, you know? I, I don't know why, but for some reason I was imagining, um, like, Gollum as a good example. Of like, like he, he, he loves the precious but he doesn't love everything that the precious does. Uh, it's a, and, and, and that's the, a strange example. It's a strange example. <laughs> and then, and then like, I was then I was thinking in my head. Imagine if imagine if Gollum gave advice to fans on how to be good fans. And then I couldn't help but just imagine him like in a red velvet chair next to a fireplace. <laughs> With with a robe around, yeah, like a fez. public service announcement. Yeah, in a little in a little pipe. 
Yeah. It, 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 he's got his he's got his little frog fingers like I would together. Have thought, I would have thought a I think better, I'm gonna draw that later. I would have thought a better example would have been something <laughs> What are you talking about? It's a great example. Well I was gonna say would have been again something like say my connection <laughs> with like Doug Tenaple, where I'm like, I really like his work, but yeah, he's kind of a rude guy, and he and I didn't really get along when I mm-hmm. talked to him, or he's made some stuff like, yeah, this one comic he did, I just don't think is good. It's really bad, you know, mm-hmm. kind of thing. But uh, sure, Gollum and the Ring, I guess, is one way to, okay. Oh. <laughs> mm-hmm. <clears throat> anyway, you haven't said much, Sam. What? You haven't said much. Yeah, because it's, uh, well, I mean, I've just been listening to what you've been saying. You've been agreeing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Also, I've been tending to my own little mm-hmm. game called okay. Thing While Waiting for Novice. <laughs> okay, where the heck is McNobbitz? But no, where I, is the sheep boy? I he's, would he's say... He's been on the toilet forever. I would say that a lot of these different artists that you like, um... Mm-hmm. I, I mean, again, I'm not trying to be mean, but like, I think a lot of them would probably not like us. I I have a feeling that most, most of, them of them are very liberal in their views, and not only liberal, like, um, have a very hypersensitive liberal. Like, obviously, in our group of friends, we've got friends who are conservative and liberal, like right in our group, mm-hmm. you know. And yet we're all like, hey, that's just my politics. I, that it, that means very little to me. I can still love and respect you as a friend, even though we disagree. Mm-hmm. Nobody in our group is going to pull out, you voted Republican or you voted Democrat. I'll never be friends with you. We all realize that's just shallow. You know, we don't yeah. have anyone who's like that. But a lot of the different artists you seem to like, they're... They're social justice warriors. I mean, I guess there's no other. I mean, like yeah. it's kind of obvious in their in their work and stuff. Like it's very obvious if you read like the descriptions on their DeviantArt posts. There's a lot. Of, they'll be very preachy about stuff like that. You're like, yeah, love your art, but something tells me you and I would not be friends. You know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There he is. There how, you are. How long did it take hey. you to poop, man? It's been three thousand years.